today I'm going to do a really early morning review, but first, because it's so early, we're still in the 4 o'clock in the morning hour. I can see the moon out the window, so I'm gonna pick up my tripod and try and go over the pile of crap. Can you? Yeah, 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 yeah. There it is. There it is. Right. Okay, you don't see my finger. Right there. Right there. Right in the middle of the window. Love that. That's all the, the lights. But um, yep. Okay. Totally did not do justice to how pretty it is, cause it's actually like a really yellowy moon, and you cannot tell that from here. So, yep. Okay. And yeah, you just saw part of my. Horde o' crap, aka just my pile of yarn. But anyway, so <laughs> ignore that. It's not like we're unaware of it. So I just have to organize the damn thing because, eh, not only is it over there, I kind of have just chucked things back over as I've been done using it. And yeah, I should really do something about that. Anyway, so today I literally just plucked one out of the box. Didn't look at the flavor we're doing. Guys. Oh my god. <laughs> FML. <laughs> I had broken the pomegranate streak and then I, I saw blue. I figured blue was safe. Okay, I thought we were doing blueberry. I forgot it's blueberry pomegranate. So that's a thing. That's a thing we're doing. All right. I'm going with it. I realize, yeah, I could go back to the box and put it back in and take another, but screw it. Let's just do it. Okay. So, it's really cute, though. I mean, I really like the color combo. It's kind of like little blueberries with pomegranates in between them. It's really cute. I like that. It makes me sad because Buzzle Bomb is no more now. Yeah, I'm still sad over that. I mean, I realize it's silly to be sad over a lip balm company going under, but it was a really good one, okay? There's certain other brands that I won't name right now that they probably should go under, and they don't. Yet this one, which is amazing, went under. <sighs> Again, FML. <laughs> so anyways. Obviously, it's a stick. Here's the packaging. It's really deep blue. I love the uniqueness of the color they used for this cap. This is not a color you see in lip balm caps, honestly. Tell me one other brand you've seen that color on, because I have not seen it anywhere else. It's like a midnight blue and I freaking adore it. And the label. Okay, I'm having to turn it so that the glare from a craft lamp um, doesn't block it all out for you. But yeah, it's really, really pretty. But you can see why I didn't realize I was picking up freaking pomegranate. <laughs> I thought as long as I stay away from reds, it probably won't be pomegranate. <laughs> Sorry, I also still have my morning allergies to deal with. But um, yeah, that. It's not that I hate pomegranate, it's just that we had a freaking streak of nothing but pomegranate lip balms this past week, it seems like. Up until yesterday when I broke the streak, and now we're apparently back in it. Bloody hell. Okay. So, anyways, <laughs> I need more coffee for this. Do you like my mug? Copy, 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 copy. I feel like I could have made this mug. <laughs> It kind of sums up my life. Oh, goodness. Anyways, this is natural and organic. And it's got sweet almond oil, beeswax, sunflower seed oil, shea butter, coconut oil, and stevia, stevia leaf extract, and natural flavors and vitamin E. <clears throat> so, that's what all's in it. It's very natural, very healthy for you. It's not one of the limited edition ones. I believe there was a limited edition version they did of blueberry pomegranate. I want to say it was something like Billy's blueberry pomegranate, I want to say. Maybe. I believe it was exactly the same, just with a name change. I could be wrong. I don't think I ever had the one with the other name, but as far as I know, they're the same thing, just with a different name, and the proceeds of the other one went to, like, a charity, I think. I remember that being a thing, I think. I could be wrong. The site's not around anymore for me to check. So, there's that. Um, it's not part of a set. You would just buy it individually, but now it's kind of a moot point because you can't buy them anymore. Um, I still live in hope that maybe they'll come back, but who knows. Um, Madam Product is 0.15 ounces, standard stick amount. <coughs> Excuse me. More coffee. Ah, 
Yes, I'm having Ruby Hour Girl moment. Okay, so. Price point, I honestly don't remember. I want to say it was, like, in the three-ish dollar range, I want to say. Like, 320 something maybe. Somewhere around there. I don't remember anymore. And the site's gone, so I can't double-check. <sighs> Sturdiness-wise, let's find that. I gotta bust the seal on it. There we go. Cap's good. I mean, it's bendy plastic, but not too bendy, and it stays on well, so no complaints. Turn wheel. Ooh, nice firm turn wheel. That's a rarity with lip balms, it seems like. So, no complaints there either. <laughs> Sorry, stuffy. Um, let's check the scent. Oh, good, it's more blueberry than pomegranate. Thank God. <laughs> I'm sorry, again, I don't have anything against pomegranate. It's not even that I dislike it. It's just the streak we freaking had. It is all up on one side, though, because it was freshly poured when they did it, so. And that's okay, I don't knock points for that. That actually smells really good. This is much better than the Soft Lips Blueberry Pomegranate, just saying. Because that one, that one for whatever reason, I don't know what's in it, it gives me instant headaches every friggin' time. Always has. That's why I didn't want to review that one when it came out. Well, not even that when it came out, but when I got it and opened it, I was like, oh. Yeah, I don't know if I even mentioned it in the review that it gave me, like, an insta-headache or if I was too ashamed to admit that, but. Yeah, wasn't a fan of the soft lips one, but this, this smells good. This I like. Yeah, I mean, you can smell the pomegranate in there, but to me it's more blueberry than pomegranate, and I feel like that's a rarity in lip balms to find a good realistic blueberry and not the nasty artificial blueberry that freaking everybody and their grandmother uses um so that's always nice because artificial blueberry either smells like cotton candy and it's too sweet to where it's sickening or it smells like grape which is also sickening to me for other reasons and there's like no good in between usually there's like a very rare few and far between good artificial blueberries that they don't happen often. But natural blueberry, I, I love. I adore real-life blueberries. Um, you just, unfortunately, don't find things that smell like natural blueberry very often. Just saying. Other than, like, things that are food that have blueberries. So. Yeah, that's lovely. Okay. I'm gonna put it on. Carefully. <laughs> Because of that one side, I'm, I have it at an angle. That's why it looks like I'm weird with it. Because I'm trying to place a little more pressure on that side to try and wear it down flatter. So on this inaugural run, I'm putting on more than I normally would with them. But because I'm trying to wear down that side, yeah. Stupid, nasty, snotty nose. Okay. Ooh, you do smell it on your lips, too. And it did a flipsy when you put it on, because now you smell more of the pomegranate than the blueberry. That's really... No! No, it's like reverse of each other. What the hell? That's so cool. Honestly, I've seen this with other brands a few times, too, where it's like two flavors in the tube. You smell one more prominently, then you put it on, and you smell the other more prominently. It's so weird, and it always blows my mind, but anyways, I'm just like, how the hell, it's the same exact thing, how is it different here to here, I don't know, I don't know, but it's cool. So anyways, hmm. it may even have a little bit of flavor to it, it's sweet, I don't know what to describe that flavor as, it's just sweet, but um, tastes good. As for consistency? It's one of the really thin ones, unfortunately. I mean, I'm not going to dock it down for being thin. Um, just, I like the thicker ones better myself, but that's just me. I'm still going to use it, don't worry. But um, the actual consistency itself, it's kind of one of the greasier ones. It's not one of the creamier ones, sadly, but that's again, okay. But um, it does feel very slick and more oily than... The creamier ones do. <clears throat> Excuse me. 
I'm trying to parse my words together. Um, I guess I'm still waking up because it's like four something. But, um, and you're like, why the hell are you awake at four something? Because I fall asleep at eight something. And I don't try to. My body just goes, nope, it's sleep time, bitch. Yeah, it's why I like summer better because I can stay awake till like human hours, you know? It's pretty sad when like my young nieces and nephews stay awake later than I do. And it's not because I try to. But when you fall asleep that early, you wake up that early, so. Yeah. So at least when I stay awake a little later in summer, I sleep in a little later in summer, which, I mean, granted, my sleeping in is still only to like maybe six on a good day, but it is what it is. I've always woken up hella crazy early, but that's neither here nor there. Even when I used to like stay up half the night, I still woke up hella crazy early, but we're on a tangent. We need to talk about this lip balm. Okay, so, but yes, it's one of the greasier ones, but that said, I feel like I feel it um, absorbing more quickly, too. Which is a good sign that it's actually going to do its job and not just sit there like certain other lip balms. So, you know, it's just one of those things. But I love the shininess of it, though. You know, I am all about the shiny shinies. So, I'm always a fan of that. Sorry for my ugly, ugly face up close like that. So, anyways. Um, I don't know what the hell that was. I'm so sorry. I'm going to do the drink test now. Because I apparently need more. I don't think it's going to pass. Mm -mm. No, it thinned out. Okay. That's alright. That's alright. Because most of the other points were perfectly high, so I mean, one point against it isn't going to kill it. Because it's still getting the wow factor, regardless, so. Did I have any issues other than just the drink test? This may be a nine. Um, I think... Actually, maybe combined of it being so thin in the oilier consistency rather than the creamier, just combined, I may duck one more, which still only brings it down to an eight, which is still amazing. And if you can somehow, some way, get a hold of one of these, I don't know how you would with the company being gone, but I mean, stranger things have happened. If you can somehow acquire one, I would recommend it. It is a really nice one. And if I had gotten around to it sooner before they went under, I probably would have bought backups of this one because it's very, very nice. I love the way this one smells and it's blue and I love it. Yeah, I know. My, my reasonings, they're stupid. I don't care. I don't care. But, um, yeah, it just still bums me out so hard that they are no longer a thing. But, again, what can you do, right? That's life. So, anyways, 8 out of 10. Still really good. Still love it. Still wish the brand would come back, but I don't even know the reasonings of why they went under, and I'm not gonna pry. That would be really rude of me to do, since it was, like, a privately owned company, but yeah, so. Wow, just in the time I've done this review, the moon has gone from, like, the halfway point of my window down to, like, nearly the bottom of it. I have not been talking that long. That's crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna wrap this up and go work on my data entry shit. So, anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. In my early morning rambly rambles, um, if you did, go ahead and hit the like button. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe, leave comments down below. Did any of you guys get this one while you still could? If so, what did you guys think of it? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Were you somewhere in the middle? Let me know, as well as anything else you feel like leaving me. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, they're all listed down below. And if you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is in the description. So, anyway guys, till next time.